hitting a lot of knockdown shots in this win. Is yeah, I haven't I, hit a full shot yet. You haven't game. hit a full shot yet. You've been are those all knockdowns? Just all knockdowns. Trying to hit, hitting any sort of knockdown shots just helps my swing. That's so good, buddy. So Cam's here. Cam's here just to put on a clinic. We're here just to, we're here just to videotape the swing today. I'm not even, probably not gonna do much talking. Uh, he's coming off the SoCal Open, just a little event to play in between, you know, some other events that are bigger. And um, the cool thing about that event is those are tough to play in because you have 288 players, a lot, a lot of good players, um, a lot of people with status all over tours, all over, and shot 16 under for four rounds and finished finished second place. So that's good. And he comes over here and shows me this golf swing. Take a look at this. I want to see one of the best takeaways possible right here. Just so good. And then watch this. Right up to the top. Left arm matches shoulder plane. And then watch this in transition. Boom. Right back down. Right through. It's pretty nice. So we have a pretty good wind right now out of the right. Um, Cam, run me through, run our viewer through, because you have one of the best knockdowns in the game. I mean, you and I have said it for nearly a decade now, the knockdown mentality, which is a mentality that we take on all shots. Mm -hmm. This guy, when he was young, guys, I'd have him hit knockdown shots for like 30 minutes, and I look at him and I go, all right, buddy. So that interaction you have with the turf and the amount that a punch that you pack at impact, do the same thing with a full swing. So we always kept that knockdown mentality. Part of the reason why he compresses it so well, but run us through your knockdown. What do you do? I mean, what I'm doing is like, obviously I'm gonna shorten my swing a little bit. I'm making like a bigger bigger body turn, but just keeping my hands just a little shorter. But I'm keeping the inertia, the same inertia through the ball as I would as a, as a full swing, right? I mean, it'll take yardage off just because the swing is shorter and, you know, realistically, I'm probably not gonna be swinging as fast, but I'm feeling the same swing speed and aggressiveness through the ball. Um, which is going to lower the flight and obviously let the wind not affect it as much because it's just going to rip right through it. Before he talks about what he would do with his setup, if anything, a three-quarter swing does not mean three-quarter effort. That's what he's referring to. Yeah. A three-quarter swing does not mean three-quarter effort. He's still giving it a full swing effort. He's just shortened his arm swing. That's all. So anything with the setup? Um, I'm probably going to get just a touch closer to it. It might sneak back a half a ball in my stance. And just keep keep that aggressive thought through impact. It's so good. And you know the shot tracer will pick that up. We have wind pretty stiff out of the right, and that thing right there just holds a straight line. So it's one thing that's fun to watch when you watch Cam is it's just his ball flight really holds the wind well. We actually were we laugh about it when the conditions are worse. It's kinda like, well, hey, good. <laughs> good for this guy. Oh, please square up that cart. Please. Oh, sure. Oh, right there we go. Right in the <laughs> windshield on the bounce. <laughs> that is so nice, Cam. Let me get a video of that knockdown shot real quick. And I think a lot of people will think, oh, if I hit a bunch of full shots, everything shorter than that, and you know, if I hit lock, knockdown shots in the course, it'll, hitting a bunch of full shots will make it that easier. I think it's the complete opposite. If you can hit the center of the face over and over again with a shorter swing, it'll make full shots much that much easier. Because it's 95% of the swing. You're just yeah. adding a little bit of a turn, but you're keeping that connection that he builds a swing on. Beautiful. Well, Cam's done. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, I was gonna say. Well, dude, oh my gosh, look at this. Must be easy, Cam. Hold on, let me do this again. Watch this. I'll play it all the way through. Dude, I love how you have the club more left at the top too. Yeah. So much better because it just slots so much easier. So stable. 
put the club face through in the pack too. Yeah. It's great, Cam. We get a couple, two more. Two more? Yeah, two more. I want to get one face on too. That was really good. I got a better angle on this one even for you. I remember, I remember when this guy was young too. If I didn't have the sound on in a video, he'd be late. It was the only time Cam ever would get mad at me. Like, dude, dude, what, get the sound on. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you, gotta, you, gotta hear the sound. you gotta hear the sound. Check out this swing, you guys. This is as good as it gets right here. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And look at this, watch. Boom. Boom. Just so nice. Man, that's nice. How stable that club face is through impact. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. Hmm. At Forzak Golf, we take a lot of pride in having developed some of the best and most consistent golf swings on the planet. We do this through simplicity. Our full swing masterclass will take you on a step by step, easy to understand process on how to get your golf swing better than ever. Join the many before you who've utilized our Full Swing Masterclass to take their games to the next level and beyond.